Hello, welcome to Valve Channel. I'm Stephen. Last video, we already understand what is triple offset butterfly valve and understand why triple offset butterfly valve can work in high temperature and high pressure environment. In valve industry, if one kind of valve want to work in high temperature and high pressure environment, the valve sitting face must made by solid metal. For example, butterfly valve. If one kind of butterfly valve want to work in high temperature and high pressure environment, the valve seat and the valve disc must made by solid metal. So solid metal can hold high pressure and high temperature inside the flow control system. But the question is, when you're going to use solid metal to make the valve disc and the valve seat, when you're going to open the butterfly valve, the valve disc and the valve seat cannot have any kind of rubbing. So that is the reason why we design one kind of valve called a triple offset butterfly valve. We use triple offset to make the valve disc when we're going to open it. The valve disc will immediately left the valve seat. It has no rubbing. So we can use solid metal to make the valve disc and the valve seat. So when we're going to open and close the valve, the seat and the disc has no rubbing. So that is the basic principle for triple offset butterfly valve. Why this kind of valve can work in high temperature and high pressure environment? Because it is used the solid metal to make the valve disc and the valve seat. But this kind of valve has one disadvantage, which is because it is triple offset, especially the third offset. Here is a comb shape. The triple offset butterfly valve, the comb shape are not an integrity comb shape. It is an oblique comb shape. This kind of comb shape are very difficult to produce. It is difficult to machinery, difficult to grinding, and difficult to assembly. So triple offset butterfly valve are very expensive. So engineer really want to design one kind of butterfly valve which can work in high temperature and high pressure environment compared with the center line butterfly valve. It can work in around 400 Celsius degree, the pressure around the 300 pressure class, which is better than this kind of butterfly valve, and also much cheaper than the triple offset butterfly valve. So that is the reason we design one kind of butterfly valve called a double offset butterfly valve. So in this video, we are talking about what is double offset butterfly valve, why this kind of valve can work in high temperature and high pressure environment compared with the center line butterfly valve. The reason why triple offset butterfly valve are so expensive because the valve disc is a oblique comb shape. So engineer are going to think if we abandon the third offset, we maintain the valve disc is an integrity comb shape, and also we keep the first and the second offset to design one kind of butterfly valve. What will happen? And when we're going to operate this kind of butterfly valve, does the valve disc and the valve seat still has rubbing? So let's look at what will happen if we design one kind of butterfly valve, which is a double offset butterfly valve. What will happen for the valve disc and the valve seat? Double offset butterfly valve abandoned the triple offset butterfly valve oblique comb shape. It's going to use integrity comb shape to make the valve disc. So this kind of valve are easier to design and also easier to produce and assembly. So double offset butterfly valve are much cheaper than the triple offset butterfly valve. Double offset butterfly valve still maintain the first and the second offset. The valve shaft center axis are offset the center line of the valve disc and also offset the center axis of the valve disc. The reason why we design this kind of butterfly valve because we want this kind of butterfly valve can work in high temperature and high pressure environment. And also, the price are much cheaper. When you're going to design a butterfly valve can work in high temperature and high pressure environment, you must use metal to make the valve disc and the valve seat. When you're going to use metal to make a valve disc and the valve seat, when we're going to open and close the valve, the disc and the seat cannot have rubbing because rubbing may break the valve seat or the valve disc. So let's look at uh, what will happen when we're going to open and close the valve. 
Thus, the valve disc and the valve seat has a rubbing. So when we're going to open the valve and close the valve, as we can see here, it looks like uh, the valve disc and the valve seat has a very little rubbing here. Very little rubbing. So let's look at uh, what kind of material we're going to choose to make the double offset butterfly valve, valve seat. The valve seat will accept the rubbing from the valve disc and also the valve seat can hold the high temperature and high pressure flow media inside the flow control system. Because double offset the butterfly valve, the valve disc, when we're going to open and close, the disc will have rubbing with the valve seat. So we must choose one kind of material which is metal and also it is elastic metal. So engineers are very clever to design one kind of valve seat which going to use a stainless steel plate to make it become this kind of shape and to make it become a ring and put this ring inside the valve body. Because it is metal and also it is a plate so it is elastic and also can accept a high temperature and high pressure. So that is a very good design for double offset butterfly valve. When we're going to open and close the valve disc, even though the disc has a little bit of rubbing with the valve seat, but the valve seat is an elastic shape, so the rubbing are acceptable. So that is a basic principle for double offset butterfly valve, how to design one kind of valve which is going to use the integrity comb shape for the valve disc and going to use one kind of metal and also it is elastic metal to make a valve seat. So this kind of valve are much cheaper than the triple offset butterfly valve and also can work in high temperature and high pressure environment compared with the center line butterfly valve. And except uh, you stainless steel plate to make the double offset butterfly valve valve seat, we also can use soft material to make the valve seat like a PTFE because this kind of material are much easier to make the double offset butterfly valve to get zero leakage. So that is for today we already understand what is double offset butterfly valve and why this kind of valve are much cheaper than the triple offset butterfly valve. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.